I'm Megan Amon, designer and metalsmith. So last Sunday, I had an opportunity to go to New York City and walk ICFF, which is the International Contemporary Furniture Fair. And even though it's a furniture fair, I actually left the show thinking a lot about the state of contemporary jewelry design here in the U.S. One of the things that happens at the show is something called Design Boom. And in Design Boom, the idea is design souvenirs, pieces by emerging and young designers that um, sell for under $100. So you, the idea is that you go to the show, you're looking at furniture, you're looking at um, home decor, you're looking at product design, and then you go to Design Boom and there are all these great products under $100 that you can buy and take home with you. Now, a lot of what you see in Design Boom is jewelry. But ostensibly a lot of it is not jewelry made by people who are trained in jewelry design. And so you'll see a lot of things like you'll pick up a brooch and it's a really great brooch and you flip it over and it's a uh, you know, base metal commercially made pin finding epoxied onto the back. And to me as someone who teaches jewelry, things like that are really unacceptable. And it was really interesting, I walked to the show with one of my students and she looked at a brooch, she flipped it over, and as we walked away she said, as soon as I saw that the pin back was glued on, I was really disappointed. And so, to me, I think it's a real shame that a show that is supposed to be um, contemporary design isn't really showing the best of contemporary jewelry design even though they're showing jewelry. Here are people making jewelry, but they aren't really creating the full product. It'd be like me creating some kind of tabletop, sticking it on Ikea legs, and taking it to ICFF and saying, I'm a furniture designer. And I just don't, I think that there's something fundamentally wrong with that. And it really got me thinking, where are the opportunities to see and show really great design-oriented jewelry here in the U.S.? And I think that we're kind of missing an opportunity. If you make jewelry, you're usually kind of stuck in a couple different camps. So you might end up in the craft scene, you know, the craft world, which is a really, really great community, um, but there's not as much of an emphasis on design. It's really all about kind of the handmade, the process, the technique, and there is some interest in design, but it's not really all about that. Or you might end up in the fashion world. So a couple weeks ago I walked um, ENK Accessory Circuit, which is a really big fashion show, and it's one of the places where you can go and see a lot of jewelry. It's really jewelry focused, but it's very fashion-y. And what's unfortunate is in the fashion world we have all this really great couture fashion, the stuff that walks the runway. You know, you have couture and you have ready-to-wear, but then when I think when you see the jewelry that comes out of fashion, it's much more about the ready-to-wear and there's not that one-of-a-kind, pushing the envelope, really great design stuff. So then what are we left with? Well, we're left with the design world, but the problem in the design world is that they aren't versed in the full language of jewelry. And so you have things like people who maybe have an industrial design degree or um, a graphic design degree who are making jewelry, and what they're doing is kind of, you know, taking an object and sticking a commercial finding on it. And while I don't want to sound like a complete snob and say that I hate that, I think that there's a place for that. I really would like to see more design institutions really pushing great design jewelry. And I know that there are some fantastic people out there making really well-designed jewelry. I show with a lot with some of them in the Axonon Design Division at New York Gift. I just wish there was a place where you could go and put all of those people together. So this is where I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is there a place like this and I'm just missing that? Do you think there's a need for something like this? And do you think there's an audience for something like this? Um, because I'd really like to see more of a conversation about really, really well-designed jewelry. Jewelry with a design focus, but that also understands the rules and the traditions, and that's really about creating the full piece and not just creating a piece and sticking a finding to it. So uh, please share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.